Okay, so I just found out like over an hour ago the new trailer for the hundred, a trailer two, has been released. It literally dropped like 10, 15 minutes before I got home because I was out. And I'm sitting here like, wait, I'm not home and a fucking trailer dropped right when I'm not home to react. But now I'm home, so time to react. First trailer was really good. It definitely got me excited for the season, although I'm hesitant to get excited because season five started out really good, but then it all went to shit, so. But I have hopes for this season because it's supposed to be like a new start, fresh start and everything, so new planet. So hopefully it'll be better. I hope, but who knows. Let's see how this trailer goes, though. Can you see it? Oh, we're starting out with Monty again. It isn't my dream. I miss Monty already. I hope we do better there. Yeah, same. Fucking same. We sent an exploratory team. Clarkson. Everything we did. Everything that happened. Happened so we can. Yeah, I think Kane's gonna die. If anything happens to me, get no. I have to admit it looks really good though. I love the color. So any guesses where all the people went? This place is too well maintained to be abandoned. Maybe. And if they are gone, there's enough room here for everybody on the ship. Oh. I wish Maddie could have gone to school. I wish I could have. Um, yeah, that freaking psycho son. It's not a nursery, right? It's a warning. Oh, God. Oh, God. Everyone's gonna become a psycho this season. It's like a psycho son. Ew, ew, what the fuck? But when the stars align and the forest wakes, it's time to run away. For two days, heaven is hell and friends are foes. Oh, that should be interesting. Octavia needs happiness this season, they're at least. Here. So few are safe once they're exposed. I don't know if their legs are connected and touching each other. Okay, I'll, I'm sorry. What the? No, 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 Bellamy, baby, stop, stop, stop. Clark. No, oh, I'm not a fan of snakes. So is he our villain for the season? Why the hell would you attack? How many people did they kill? I'm a monster. Say, so, yeah, we can change. Everyone that showed a monster, for fuck's sake. Mmm, Clark in that dress, though. That was a dress, right? Oh, oh, okay. We're really going there. Mm-mm. I think we're all going to hell. Hell's big enough for all of us. Yeah. That was a really good trailer. I really enjoyed that. The first one was definitely better, mainly because it was longer, but I can understand why this one was shorter because the first trailer is always the longest, so, and they don't want to show too much. It's completely understandable. But overall, it looks really good. It definitely, as hesitant I am to like it, like I did with season five, I do, as I said before, I do think season six will be better because, like I said, it's like new planet new people, fresh start. So I do think in some ways it will definitely be better. I love the look of the new planet and I love the color. And I'm, I'm excited to see Jar Jared Bourne's character. I'm not sure if he's our villain for the season. I'm not 100% sure. <clears throat> and it looks like we're getting a psycho sun. Because it was similar to the other trailer. This, apparently the sun, when it eclipses, it makes everyone go crazy. I saw Bellamy attacking Murphy and Clark looked like she was about to slit her own throat. That, I don't want any of that shit to happen, but a crazy eclipsed sun making people go psycho on each other? That actually sounds kind of interesting. So I'm definitely looking forward to seeing that. And I'm pretty sure that's how the whole... Because one of the main things for the season is like confronting your inner demons so I think that's how that comes into play the psycho sun that's what I'm calling it the psycho sun I think the sun when it makes you go all psycho it that's what helps you confront your inner demons so I think that's how that comes into play in all this oh god and I'm excited for Octavia she was easily the highlight for me last season she was the one thing that got me through it oh I really just want 
honestly, I just want the relationships to be back where they were. I don't want them to be ruined like they were in season 5. I want them to, like, be rebuilt. Especially Clark and Bellamy and Bellamy on Octavia. Clark and Raven. I was robbed of a Clark and Raven reunion last season. And instead we got, oh, hello, Clark. Does it tell you to say hello? And I definitely am excited for the premiere, although there are some things that I'm not looking forward to. I don't think y'all need to guess what they are. Yes, people, if you've been watching my videos from season 5 and to the reaction of the season 6 trailer, yes, I'm a hardcore Bellark shipper. I don't care for Becco. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I mean... Yes, I already know we're getting back on the premiere. We're getting the campfire cuddle scene and Clark's gonna be isolated. I fucking hate it. I'm gonna probably be drinking alcohol well during that time. I don't have a bottle of wine with me. <laughs> Maybe not, but something. Oh, something, but I don't know. But yeah, I don't care for Becco. I just, it's not because of Belark. A lot of people tend to assume, oh, you just you just hate Becco or you hate Echo because you ship Belark. Like, yes, I ship Belark, but that is not why I hate Echo. I hate Echo. Even if Echo wasn't with Bellamy, I still wouldn't give a shit about her. Because she was always the villain to me and a lot of other people, and everyone says, oh, well, she changed. She had character development. You just refused to see it. No, 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 no. Listen. Listen for a sec. That's not how this works. What happened was Echo was the villain for us. I can't talk. I'm stuttering. Was the villain for us, and then... In Prime Fire, she goes up to space, comes down six years later, with a time jump, and automatically she's changed? Where? It's just, I don't see it. That's not how this works. You can't just go up to space for six years, come down and be like, oh, I'm a changed person, I'm I'm totally forgiven on everything. Like, no. No, 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 no. We didn't see any of it. It would only be development if we saw it. Flashbacks of her on the arc. We got nothing. So, basically, all she did was switch sides, but she's still the same person. I should have killed you when I had the chance. And she knows damn well how Bellamy feels about Clark. And he would not- granted, yes. I'll admit, Clark did some pretty shitty things last season that I did not agree with. Like, leaving Bellamy to die, I did not like it at all. Bellamy would not want Clark dead. Even after she betrayed him like that, he would not want her dead. Mm-mm. And I know some of you are going to say, Oh, well, y you, you blame Echo for doing all these shitty things, but Clark, Raven, Octavia Bellamy, they've done a lot of shitty things. Like, yes, that is very, very true. They've all done shitty-ass things. The difference is that with Clark, or Bellamy, Octavia, Raven, etc., with them, with all the shitty things that they've done, we've seen them grow and learn and develop from those experiences, from those choices that they made. With Echo, all we got was a time jump and, oh, I'm meant to be a new person. No. Uh-uh. No. I'm sorry. This is just my view on it. That's not development to me. That's just her switching sides and saying, oh, I'm a new person, without actually seeing the development. That, I don't see it. I'm sorry, but that's just my view on it. And now we're getting her backstory this season. I don't know why. I mean, there's plenty of other characters we've had for a long time that we could get a backstory for, but we're getting Echo, which honestly I think is just because it's Jason's de desperate attempt to get us to like her. Well, it's not going to happen, because I wanted flashbacks last season, and we got nothing. It's too late. It's too little too late. I mean, you're giving us her backstory into season six? Why? It's just, it's too late. Like, you can make her, apparently they're supposed to make it like a tragic backstory. You can make it as sad as fucking possible. It's not going to change how I feel because season five pretty much fucked that up. I mean, even before season five, I hated her with a burning passion, but season five basically exacerbated all that because they just made her into a new person without any development that I never saw. So, a backstory is not going to change how I feel. So, like, I'm sorry if I repeat myself a lot with that. Like, if I, I tend to say, yes, I don't ship, I mean, no, I don't ship, what am I saying? <laughs> so, yeah, I know I tend to repeat that a lot, the whole, I don't hate Echo just because I ship a lark. It's just, I, had to, I have to repeat it a lot because I always get the, oh, you just hate Echo because you ship a lark. I get that a lot. Not just on YouTube, I get it on Twitter, like, all the fucking time. 
and it gets kind of frustrating. That's why I tend to be blunt about this kind of particular subject. It just gets kind of frustrating, so that's why I always have to repeat myself about it. So I'll say it again. I don't hate Echo because of Ship Alark. There's plenty of other reasons to it, which I pretty much just explained. So, yeah. Those are my reasons for hating Echo, and it's not because of Lark, so... And honestly, I really... I don't want to say hope, but... I want Bilark to be canon this season. I mean, last season, we all thought... A majority of us thought that was it. We thought Bilark was going to be canon last season. We thought this was our fucking season. Nope. <laughs> we got fucked over, so... I don't want to get my hopes too high for this season. At this point, honestly, I just want Bellamy and Clark to talk. Like, have an actual fucking conversation. And rebuild the relationship before that. So, I do want them to be canon. And I really hope it's this season. Like, toward the end, you know. It's just... At this point, before they become canon, I just want them to talk and have a freaking relationship again. And, yeah. The one thing I get on YouTube, Twitter is, Oh, well, Belark are confirmed platonic, so I don't know why you ship them. They're never going to be endgame, blah, blah, blah. Okay, listen. Platonic? That word is non-existent. I have never heard that word before. I don't know what that word means, so that word is banned forever. Goodbye. Throw it in the trash and throw away the trash. And honestly, okay, for argument's sake, let's say Bellamy and Clark were that word. Let's say Belark was never going to be canon. For argument's sake, let's say they never were going to be canon. Even if they weren't going to be canon, people can still ship them. Because, like, I've gotten comments like, oh, why do you ship Belark if they're not going to happen? Like, even if they weren't going to happen, people can ship whoever they want. Even if they're not going to happen, people can still ship them. They have that right, and no, they don't have to apologize or own explanation as to why they ship them. For example, like, personally, here's my view. I don't think Becca was endgame. I think Becca was going to break up because it's honestly the best thing. So, take Belark out of the equation for a second. Not considering Belark. I think Beko's going to break up. I want Beko to break up because it's just not right. I, I don't view it as a right couple because she just did so much shit and they're together. And yes, it's been six years, but like I said, we got nothing. No flashbacks. All she did was switch sides. We didn't see any of that development. So I don't get it. But anyway, what was my point for this? Oh yeah, the point is, like, if you guys shit Becco, that's fine. Go for it. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna put you down for that. That's completely fine, and I completely 100% respect your opinion. Just please, I ask you kindly to respect mine. Well, that was the trailer number two for season six of The Hundred. Overall, really good trailer. It's definitely getting me excited for the season. <sighs> I'm not hyped like I was for season 5, because season 5 I was literally like, oh my god, I can't wait for this season, I need it now, I'm so desperate for this season, oh my god, I'm so excited, it's going to be the best season ever. It's not like that with this season. I am excited, and deep down I love the show, because if I didn't love it, I wouldn't be watching. But, I, I am excited, just nowhere near the level I was last year. And that's mainly because season 5 just, season 5 crushed me, like, I thought season 5 was it, I thought this was our season, but no. And it's not even just because of Blark, it's because all of the relationships were literally freaking destroyed. And it just, that hurt. And then with Mo with Monty and Harper at the end, that was fucking, that emotionally broke me. So yeah, I'm excited, but I don't have high hopes like I did last year. Well, thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Be sure to let me know your thoughts in this trailer and your theories are for this season. And I will see you guys next time.